everyone welcome to the lookbook so today we are going to do my go to summer makeup look it's the perfect peachy look to match the outfit and please ignore my blue nails they just don't go but we are going to start with a moisturizer this is the pond soup light gel moisturizer a beautiful formula really lightweight and adds a nice uh, watery glow to your face if that's a word and yes it doesn't matter if you're skipping a primer but definitely definitely moisturize and hydrate your face with your favorite moisturizer then i'm going to go in with a lip balm this is to prep our lips for whatever lip products we are going to pair with this look and then i'm going to take my favorite foundation the wet n wild foundation in golden beige this is my perfect shade match and also i love the finish of it so first i'm going to distribute it over my face so that you know there's no one patch that has a lot of coverage and the rest is completely blank then i'm going to pick a flat top brush and pull it in small strokes i'm not going to take long strokes just small strokes so that especially if you have textured skin if you take longer strokes it will emphasize texture so take your time and just blend the foundation nicely into your skin and after you have that one nice layer of foundation on your face you can see where you have missed some spots like i have few dark spots on my cheeks i'm going to go in with a really light second layer and that is all i need and there you go we have a really nice flawless face with a good coverage and the texture of this foundation like the finish of it is beautiful then i'm going to go in with the swiss beauty concealer this is a lighter concealer shade i don't color correct uh, i don't have really dark dark circles now you can see that i'm placing the concealer wherever i want to highlight my face under my eyes in a lifted angle and then on my eyelids to cover up the darkness and on the centers of my face then taking a small concealer brush i'm just going to press it into place i'm not blending it outwards i'm pressing it wherever it was placed for the maximum brightness the same way i'm going to go in under my eyes and you can clearly see i'm just going to press it in the same spot and once i'm done with that i'm going to drag it outwards to blend it in with the foundation now for that extra flawless effect i'm going to take my beauty sponge this is a damp beauty sponge it's from color bar and just press everything in again these are all creamy products and going over this with a damp sponge takes away any excess product that we might have and also if there is any texture if there are any bumps it presses it into the skin so this is a pro tip always do this then yeah you can see that my face looks pretty smooth pretty flawless and wherever you feel like you want to you can go in and refresh it with your sponge there you go we are done with the base it's time to set everything with a loose powder i'm going to take the maybelline fit me in 15 light first taking the same concealer brush i'm going to dab it around under my eyes and the t zone where we actually tend to get oily and our foundation starts to break then i'm going to take a big fluffy brush and go in all over my face i'm not going to take a lot of powder because again this is something that might emphasize texture and i'm all about the smooth base so as you can see with very little powder it's brow time and first i'm going to start off by brushing my hair with a spoolie so that we know what is the shape how much we want to define as you can see i already have pretty dark defined and shaped brows so i don't do much i'm going to pick this miss clay eyebrow pencil in 02 dark brown and just brush it around to make sure that i'm filling up the sparse spots and then with the spoolie i'm going to distribute the product so that it doesn't look clumped up Next I'm taking the Swiss Beauty brow mascara this is a eyebrow gel it's a clear gel and I'm not sure about this product yet I am still reviewing it so I'm just going to brush up my brows with this again the reason I don't like this much is because it kind of makes my uh, brow hair very crispy you know it makes it pretty stiff not something I like a lot it is straight up a uh, gel there's no powder to it so yes i'll keep you guys posted if i ever like this product then i'm going to take my favorite the k beauty pure bloom eyeshadow palette and pick that shade this is a peachy like straight up peachy look and this palette is perfect 
but I'm going to keep this look pretty simple and just go in with this one shade. First, I've picked the product on a big fluffy blending brush and just placed it on my lids to get the right amount of pigmentation intensity that I want. Then I'm going to go in back and forth in windshield wipe motion and in circular motions to blend the product. We want that nice faded look. We are just picking the single color. So this is a really easy eye makeup look. Now taking this small uh, pencil brush, I'm just going to do my lower lash line connected to the color on my lids. This definitely ties in the look together. Then taking a white eyeliner from Wet n Wild, this is my go-to product. Like this adds that boom factor to any eye makeup look. You can see it looks so brightened up. Now I'm going to apply mascara and falsies and there you are. Now let's do the rest of my face and I'm going to take the contour from Wet n Wild in Dolce De Leche. Then on an angled brush, first I'm going to place the contour powder on my cheekbones, on the sides of my jaws and then I'm going to blend it upwards. Everything you need to make sure that you need to blend it upwards for that lifted look. Also I'm going to take it on my jawline and I think I'm going to skip the forehead because I already have a pretty small forehead, I don't need it. But I'm definitely going to contour my nose and the concentration on my face is hilarious. There is nothing you can't do with a good nose contour going on. So yes, that is the motive. And recently I've been loving blush. So I'm going to take this mini blush from Sugar Cosmetics in the shade Salmon Superstar. It's a beautiful peachy blush. Again, I could have taken the same shade that I have on my lids and applied it as my blush. But because I have a similar shade, I'm going to go with it. Now this is a pretty pigmented blush. So you could have just taken this on your eyelids as well. I kind of freaked out here a little because it was way too pigmented and I wasn't sure if I would be able to blend it out but then I went over it with a damp beauty sponge. So yes, if there's anything of excess on your face, go in with a damp sponge. It's a savior. Then I'm going to run it over my nose as well for that sun-kissed look. It looks great with peachy makeup. Then for highlighter, I went in with a wet n wild mega glow highlighter in precious petals. I wanted to have more of a diffused look so first I went with the edge and then to intensify it I went with the corner of the fan brush but yes then I'm going to uh, add it to the centers of my face the bridge of my nose cupid's bow on my forehead a little and never skip the inner corners like you can see it adds such a bright pop and also I'm going to apply it on my brow bone this kind of uh, you know separates the eyebrow from the look and makes it even more vibrant and finally for lipstick this is my favorite lip color both the lipsticks are from Faces Canada. That brand is my favorite when it comes to lip products. Now this is from their Ultime Pro HD range. It's in the shade Natural Cocoa. It's a beautiful nude peachy shade but I just feel that it is not orangey enough to go with the eye look. So I like to you know pat this shade. This is in um, Natural Earth from their Weightless Matte range. On top of it to add even more brighter orange tone to it and we are all glammed up. 